Here is the muscle that we just finished talking about, the flexor digitorum profundus. As we know, the name flexor digitorum profundus means deep digital flexor. Immediately above this muscle is the superficial digital flexor. The official name for this muscle is the flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor digitorum superficialis means superficial digital flexor, and by now the correspondences of meanings should hopefully be clear. Looking closely, we can see that the superficialis tendon separates and creates a little tunnel for the deep tendon to go through. Let's take some time to observe this. I want to make clear the action of these two flexors. For clarity, I will only make illustrations on the middle finger, but what I say will be true for the other fingers as well. First off, let's look at the deep digital flexor, the blue tendon. When the muscle is activated, it pulls the tendon, which is attached here, and it rotates the far bone around this joint, and it causes the distal bone to rotate up. The superficial digital flexor has a similar kind of action. When the muscle is activated, it pulls the tendon, which is attached here, and it rotates the bone that it is attached to around this joint, and it causes it to come up. When we add the flexor pollicis longus, we can see how the flexor digitorum superficialis is layered above that muscle as well. I'm going to take the muscle away and highlight where it attaches. You can see that it attaches on the radius and the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Let's look at the attachments using a transparent flexor digitorum superficialis. Here's another view of how this muscle sets above the flexor pollicis longus and the flexor digitorum profundus. Here is the flexor digitorum superficialis in clay.